In this video, we'll go over 8 various strategies that teenagers might use to become millionaires in the future. Let's get started with a few of these 8 suggestions, which I believe can help people handle their money better as teenagers and position them to become significantly wealthier later in life, either in their early 20s or their 30s. Before we get started, please like and subscribe below for the YouTube algorithm. Number 1. Living within your means. The importance of living your life is enormous. Don't listen to anyone who tells you to pinch pennies excessively. Instead, save actual pennies and then do nothing with the rest of your life. We want to examine a different attitude in this situation. In reality, the attitude we want to adopt is one of wanting to live within our means in order to live comfortably but yet wanting to enjoy life or our daily rituals, am I right? We don't want to take the fun out of living. Simply said, you don't want to borrow or spend money you don't have. This is quite significant. Avoid going into debt or using up all of your available funds because if you do, you won't have anything left over for the remaining tasks we'll go over in the video. Try to just spend a portion of what you earn or need. This is really significant, and if you have any money left over, you may invest it in useful things or in yourself, which is one of the most significant investments we can ever make. As I have stated, this does not imply living in extreme austerity, rather, it simply means spending less and investing the money you save. Even while you don't need to invest much when you're young, it's still crucial to establish those early habits, which we'll get to in the video's last phase. Therefore, you are safeguarding your future here and preventing unneeded collateral damage or financial harm to yourself, which is what we aim to achieve. We don't want to borrow money in our early adolescence, nor do we want to waste money on items that most of us wanted to acquire when we were teenagers. It's a common practice, but in order to advance, we must develop new habits that are distinct from those of other people. If you want to make progress in this area, I believe this is crucial. Now, number two, acquire a credit card. For the majority of teens who have no idea what they're doing with it, this could be a little problematic. Naturally, as we've already stated, most individuals waste money, so pay close attention to what is being mentioned in this stage. Since credit cards have excellent payment protections, you are more likely to receive a refund or other assistance if you need it than you would with a debit card, for instance. Additionally, using a credit card allows you to increase your credit score, which is one of the main reasons why most people use them. Otherwise, why would they haphazardly borrow money unless they wanted to accumulate debt? Because most teens can't be trusted with credit cards, and because most of your parents probably advise against getting one, using credit cards responsibly is crucial in this situation. As a result, if you borrow very small amounts when you're a teenager and always pay them back in full each month to avoid paying the additional interest that accrues from not repaying borrowed money on the credit card, you'll be able to gradually raise your credit score early, which is a benefit you're giving yourself. Number 3. Think about your investment budget. The second issue is simply how much money you should set aside for investment. Therefore, this depends either on the pocket money you have or the real monthly income you receive. Anything to obtain money or the pocket money your parents give you, for example, is the same if you're a teenager and you work a part-time job or do anything you know how to do, like mow lawns or clean vehicles. Whatever your income, whether it be a few dollars or a few hundred, this is where you should start developing the habits that will be important for your future. Therefore, even if you don't have a lot of money, investing $10, $20 once a week or once a month develops the saving habits that will be helpful when you start making serious money. We might not be saving a lot of money right now, but you are reinforcing those saving habits, so when you have good money you don't squander it and it starts to compound because you'll keep investing and we will discuss that in more detail later. Try to put 10% to 20% of any money you get or have extra into investments. However, you can invest as little as 10% when you're a teenager because saving or investing anything still puts you ahead of the curve, don't you think? Now, typically I would advise having the rule of investing 20% in your 20s. Therefore, it's just a good idea to practice constantly and develop your ability to do so. Number 4. Just forget about it, put it aside. As a result, many people have a problem with holding onto their money when they invest because they want to waste it on foolish things or have an issue with it. 
define it and then forget it. If you're one of the people who find saving money incredibly tough, you could ask your parents to open a savings account for you and make sure that they have access to it only sometimes. Because if you withdraw money from that account and spend it, you'll be wasting the potential of the money you've saved. So keep the money hidden, lay it aside and forget about it, act like it's not even money for spending or money you may use, or put it in a protected account. Even while there may not be much in it right now, it will mean that you have a secured nest egg of money in a few years that will gradually grow. Never lose heart if you only have a tiny amount saved, anything you save can be useful. And it can be the beginning of making investments with that tiny little snowball of money, correct? This is significant. Number 5. Open a brokerage account. It can be incredibly nice if you can open an investing account early on in your own name or if you can have your parent or legal guardian open one and support an account with you. I'm referring to the brokerage account when I say account, a brokerage account, more particularly, an ISO account or, if available in America, an IRA. Number 6. Now is the ideal time to begin. Today is the second best day to start because yesterday was the best day. Don't wait till tomorrow to begin a really essential passion of yours. Weeks, months, and years have passed. Nonetheless, the more you put it off, the later in life you will be able to genuinely appreciate it without constraints. When you're a teenager, it's crucial to keep that in mind since it contains excellent life advice and a mentality that will help you weather any storms. As a result, as a young adult, you will really realize how essential money is, and when you experience moments of financial hardship, you will feel a lot of stress that you don't want to linger forever. So, it's very significant. There is very little risk when you are a teenager. If your parents don't charge you rent, living with them is essentially free, of course, if you're young. And you can start any business and save money in the simplest method imaginable since you have the time and the huge safety net of not having to pay for where you live. Therefore, don't pass up that chance because it truly is a golden one. Number 7. Boost your capacity for earning money. Because investments are fantastic for compounding, expanding, and snowballing your existing money, but they won't actually make you rich. As we discussed before, saving pennies won't really get you anywhere. It's probably less likely right now during the crash to become extremely lucky off some random cryptocurrency coin that goes to the moon unless you're in that 1%. So you won't be able to profit from a monthly investment of just $50, am I right? It's implausible, all it does is make your money grow. You'll be wealthy when you're 65, but the point is to take advantage of our youth and hopefully become wealthy in our 20s or 30s. Therefore, it's crucial to increase your income producing capacity and the potential of the money you may make from your employment, primary business, or side businesses. Due to the fact that the more money you bring in, the more we may invest and the greater the investment will be. And it will only continue to snowball. Consider your key talents and strengths. What are your interests? How can you transform those interests into a business, a service, or the solution to a particular problem in exchange for money? Because most things in life involve offering value in exchange for money, whether it be through the sale of a product that solves a problem, the provision of a service that does the same, or both. Keep in mind that this is essentially how the exchange of money operates in the modern world. Number 8. Increasing your investment size. Increasing the percentage of your investments. What exactly do I mean by that? Scale up your monthly percentage set aside for investment in accordance with your new income as your income grows and you start making more money. As a result, you might taper from the 10% I previously advised to the 20%. Alternatively, if you begin to produce very healthy levels, think about scaling up to 30% or 35%. Maximizing the return you will obtain from your hard-earned money. Just keep that in mind since the more you invest and the earlier you invest it, the more money you'll have in several years. Let's say you received a 10% return on your investment. Assume a millionaire received 10% annually for investing $4 million in their investment account. They would receive an additional $400,000 per year merely from the interest on their investment being set in there, regardless of whether it stops Bitcoin or stocks and shares, which are obviously a safer investment. Therefore, it is a substantial sum of money. 
Therefore, investing can help you create a lot of passive income that you can truly live off most of the time, especially if you have a lot of money like those guys. That's extremely intriguing, then. Therefore, it is something to consider. So those are the 8 suggestions for how teenagers might position themselves to become billionaires, manage their finances intelligently, and avoid many of the critical errors that most of us make when we're younger. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you found this video interesting and want to see more.